Grandparents. Oh my goodness. Well, Cappy was lucky. Well, at least as far as her mother's side. It was a grandpa Ray and then Anita. Never did meet the, the first grandmother. I heard she was rather sweet. I've met uh, her uncle and, and aunt and most of the cousins. But uh, on my side, that's my grandpa and step grandma Mills. In their 60s when I was born, so I mean, like in their 80s when I was, you know, mid 20s. So, never really got to do anything exciting with them or my great grandpa Monroe. I mean, they're kind of sickly by then. Uh, my dad's mother, well, she just came around once in a while. Didn't see her that much. She's married about five times. My dad's uh, first father, of course, died in the 40s, but I knew his stepfather, uh, Bam, he died in 57. And then she had a series of husbands after that. I lost track. One's my name was Clyde, as far as my grandma and I were. Uh, and I've talked about cousins. And so with the next generation, you know, uh, my brother and his kids and my sister and her daughter, my two kids, well, grandparenting's on a different level. It's more personal. And my parents try to be good grandparents, but uh, it was hard for them. And Kathy's parents lived far away, so it made it difficult. But I just, like I said, you know, I wish my grandparents would have been a little, a little bit younger, but they, they were born in the 1890s, so. Such is life, but I'm sure people of my generation went through that. And they, they were the quiet type, not very sociable. 